One of the world's most influential annual tech events kicked off in Las Vegas on Tuesday local time as we have been reporting. The Consumer Electronics Show 2024 is offering a glimpse into consumer technology trends. Our economics correspondent Yi Soojin is here in the studio with this topic. Hi Soojin. Thank you for having me. So what are the major takeaways this year? So what's important is that CS in 2024 has come back in full force and it's expected to draw the largest crowd seen since the COVID-19 pandemic. South Korea has the third most companies participating this year. And to no surprise, after a year of artificial intelligence dominating headlines, AI took center stage at this year's CES. Let's take a listen. With generative AI in the last year since it's come about, there's a lot of very rapid developments, companies going into new areas. It's a fundamentally game-setting, changing technology. In line with this key theme, companies showcased various AI-integrated products. One such product that Samsung revealed at the event was a revamped robot companion, Bali. Bali can move around the house by itself and control various smart home devices. And the new and improved Bali also has built-in projectors that can stream phone calls and cooking videos on the walls of people's homes. And another key theme was mobility, or more specifically, air mobility, as flying cars stole the show. A Superna, Hyundai Motors' advanced air mobility company, unveiled a prototype for its latest electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that is expected to be up and running by 2028. And its battery capacity allows it to travel within cities, and it only makes as much noise as a dishwasher. Fascinating, Sujin. So we've talked about big names companies, but what about the South Korean startups? Uh, how are they faring this year? So in short, they're actually doing better than ever. This year, record number of South Korean startups were awarded innovation awards. We talked to some local startups that were recognized, and they also all emphasized the importance of advanced technologies. Here's what one of them said. We were able to win innovation awards in both the drones and unmanned systems and the human security for all categories because the marine salvage and recovery market is becoming increasingly influenced by the robotics market. Sheko is a startup that develops environmental solutions and its aquatic cleaning drone uses a rotor to direct water inside the device where it separates the pollutants with mesh filters. It then discharges the purified water back into the ocean. Another startup that won an innovation award is The Little Cat, a digital pet healthcare company. It took home the accolade for its device that measures body composition in cats. The app shows various information such as the weight, BMI, fat and protein level, and recommends cat food based on this data. And for these startups, CS is important because it opens the door to more business opportunities. Let's take a listen. We've already had buyers and distributors from all over the world contact us thanks to CES. Right, Sujin, and now let's focus on Chinese companies. Can you tell us what they and U.S. companies brought to CES this year? Well, first of all, it's quite a return in the sense that we're almost back at pre-pandemic levels. The number of participating Chinese companies has more than doubled from the previous year. Participation of Chinese companies at CES had dwindled over the past few years as COVID-19 lockdowns made it difficult for them to travel abroad, and geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and China were also a hindrance. But they're back as they target global markets amid a sluggish economy. Chinese tech company TCL unveiled Nextpaper 14 Pro, a giant tablet that doubles as an e-reader by offering three types of viewing modes, standard, color paper, and ink paper. U.S. companies, too, were showing off their latest tech, and retail giant Walmart is one company that has embraced AI technology. Walmart showcased a generative AI-powered search tool that allows shoppers to ask for shopping advice for specific situations, as well as plans to expand do drone delivery services where items are, develop are, are delivered in 30 minutes or less. And this year's CES is thus not only noteworthy for recovering almost to its pre-pandemic glory days, but also for all the innovative global companies there. Here's what one attendee said. Hey, the energy is so, um, you know, full and excitement. And I think everybody's just wondering, like, what are we going to discover? What's new? What's exciting? And in particular, uh, for me, it's what, what do global companies bring? 
While not a lot of time is left until CES 2024 comes to a close, there's no doubt that it's once again provide a close look into the future of consumer technology. All right, thank you for your report today, Sujin. It was my pleasure.